Alright. <clears throat> time for a little backtracking for story time. Belfry Luna. Fuck my anus. I need to beat the other bonfire to get in the goddamn belfry itself. So let's do that. Ah. <sighs> Okay. Belfry Luna. <sighs> so I'm going to need you guys to listen deep if you care about this lore. Because this shit's going to get confusing. Get cut. Let's talk to this crazy piece of shit real quick. And whatever. Okay. So what we got here is a <clears throat> Romeo and Juliet story. Notice how he said the 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 bell of the prince in Ven, the bell of the princess in Alkin. Well, it's Prince of Alkin, Princess of Ven. Um. Shit. Which one's this? This is the moon, so it's holding the bell of the prince. What they basically did, this is just speculation of course, you know, it's not true, it's not fact, but it seems the most plausible to me, so I'm going to go with it as fact. The prince and the princess loved each other, they made bells for each other, <clears throat> and then gave the bells to one another as like a present. This bell is in... fuck. Let's see, we're in the moon area... So we're in the Old Kingdom of Ven. If we were in Iron Keep, we'd be in the Old Kingdom of Alkin. Over there is Alkin, here is Ven. These bell towers were made by the prince and the princess, respectively, to show love for one another. So they got the bells and shit. The Bell of Alkin, which isn't this land, is here. These guys guard that bell because they're basically dolls. And their only purpose is to preserve the true love whatever thing and just, you know, make sure no one touches shit. And then vice versa, in in Iron Keep, in Belfry Soul, that's the that's the bell of then, in there, in the land of Alkin. <sighs> now from here, we jump to, again this is just speculation, stuff that I've read on the internet, but it seems the most plausible. We jump to Earthen Peak and the Covetous Demon. Or no, is it Harvest Valley? Harvest Valley and the Covetous Demon, whatever. Whatever, whichever one of those. That area is connected to Iron Keep. So, uh, it's just, you know, something to take into consideration. The Covetous Demon, do I have his soul? <coughs> okay, here we go. Eating is an expression of desire. There was once a man whose deep affections were unrequited. He transformed into the covetous demon, which only made him lonelier than before. Use it, whatever. Use it, blah, blah, blah. So, basically, that covetous demon was a person who loved someone, right? But that love wasn't returned. 
You remember the Medusa bitch? The queen sought the king's affection, even poisoning herself to attain beauty. The story that that Gilligan guy told us outside the ledge. Despite the monstrous consequences, or despite the monstrous consequences, there's not a period. All for the compelling madness known as love. Right? Sought the king's affection. Go to the Iron King. Blah, blah. Possessed by things that look below. You succumb to the flames of Swallow's Castle. Okay. What's Lost Sinner? Punishes herself. Okay. So here's, here's the theory. Mythia. Oh no. The covetous demon was a dude who loved Mythia. The Medusa chick. But Mythia was in love with someone else who didn't love her back. You know, the same fucking situation as the covetous demon with Mythia is Mythia to this other dude. Guess who the fuck the other dude is? The old Iron King. Who, I'm thinking, was, before he was king, the Prince of Alden, or whatever the fuck that place was called. One of, in re correlation to these bell towers. So, the princess loved the Iron King. Mythia the Baneful Queen loved the Iron King as well. But the Iron King didn't love Mythia, she loved the princess. Mythia kept trying to be more attractive, so she, the Iron King would love her eventually. Never happened, she turned into Medusa. Covetous Demon loved Medusa. And Medusa didn't give a shit about the Covetous Demon, so he turned into the Covetous Demon. A.K.A. Job of the Hut. So from here, we go to the Lost Sinner. A female chastising herself constantly for sins of the past, locked, or, yeah, locked in an area close to Belfry Luna. My speculation is that's the princess. Why she's punishing herself? the sins of you know forbidden love not acting on those feelings either one of those she's punishing herself so that's the princess iron king is the prince that big fucking demon thing with the horns that comes out of lava and tries to kill us covetous demon loves mythia mythia loves iron king so we have like a love square Go ahead and take a breather from all that shit, because I know that's confusing. Uh, if you still don't know what the fuck is going on, I I implore you to Google Dark Soul 2 lore videos on YouTube. That's what kind of got me into all this. We're not into all of it. I love lore shit either way. This more or less what got me to understanding it, I should say. Because these guys are puppets. That's why there's so many fucking broken ones. Busted. And they're basically protecting the... I don't know, eternal love between these fucking people. So yeah. And there's also that if you're online, or offline. And you come into the bell tower, you will be invaded by the bell keeper. Don't shit yourself, because it ain't. It's nothing special. Hold on, why is that fog door? It's making me curious. Rusted coin. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Alright, so the bellkeeper is this son of a bitch right here. It's just a red phantom version of these. Oh! Guys, let's chop it up. Get to fucking chop it. Goddamn John Dorella. Don't know. Take it. Ooh. All right, let's let's have let's have our way with this midget. Ouch. Fuck. You know what? Take this. 
it's horse shit. This is absolute horse shit. I was about to cut him. <sighs> That's just fucking annoying, god damn it. That's a waste of an effigy. It's a waste of my fucking time. I think I had one hit left. For fuck's sake. Open the damn door. He doesn't even drop anything. I just wanted to show him getting killed, but no, of course not. You gotta be fucking bad. Stupid. Yeah, exactly. Fucking stupid. Goddamn retard. Oh, a hole in the floor. Might as well jump in it. Shit. Man. Fuck off. Why do they do so much damage? Sip this. You know what? You know what? Get the fuck up here right now. I'm gonna cut somebody. Get cut. It doesn't even matter because it still takes three hits. Fuck off. Oh, damn it. That dark shit does so much damage. Like that. Look. Like half my fucking health bar is gone now. Great. God, that's fucking annoying. <sighs> Let's go, you stupid pieces of shit. Fucking overswing. No, I'm going to die. There goes all my souls again. God damn it. <laughs> shit. I wouldn't be so angry if this wasn't easy as shit. <sighs> because I did this off camera, of course. Run in there, shit on everything, not a problem. As soon as I start recording, I died twice. Lose all my fucking souls again. We're up to like 50k and lost souls. Just me running around doing bullshit. Which you could've used on fucking levels. But no. Because I'm such a fucking tard. God damn it! Fuck off, Bellkeeper, you're shit. You, you know what? Get the fuck up here right now. The fuck is this piece of garbage? Uh, get shot by the arrows! Fuck! Of course. Goddamn cheap midget fucks. Eat shit. Nope. losing it. I'm losing it. I'm absolutely losing it. Because this is easy as shit. This is so fucking simple. <sighs> Why? Why? When I start recording any other fucking time, it'd be fine. Man, Spurgeon, you're a fucking shitty player, man. You fucking suck. I know, I, I know. Alright, don't even fucking post a comment or I'll find you and rape your mom. In front of you. How's that sound? <laughs> Fuck off, Bellkeeper. You're shit. You're absolute garbage. How about we... not get hit for half of our fucking health bar? I'm just using this. I'm gonna use this. If I die now, I'm just gonna throw my headphones across the room, break them, and then not be able to make walkthroughs anymore. <sighs> Cause these little fucking things... Yeah, eat shit. Look, see? Watch. See? Do you see how easy that was? For fuck's sake? There's no reason to die to that twice. Pull this goddamn thing. And you know what? Of course you would. Because you can hear me through the fucking bell tolling. Midget little fuck. Man, I'm so mad. That's bullshit. And you know what's the worst part? I fucking live with my parents. Like a like every fucking pathetic college student does. Cause college is such a great institution nowadays that after fucking three years of busting your ass, you're forced to fucking live at home. 
and do nothing. My ear itches. My fucking headphones fell off again. I'm about to just. I'm a. I'm a. I'm just. I'm. I'm. God damn it! I can't believe I lost all those souls again. <sighs> Fuck! That's so stupid. God damn it! Oh, there you go. It's Bell from <laughs> Belfry. <laughs> Belfry, he's so fucking cool. Shit, man. It's got like, it's got like this one dude that can totally fuck your shit up if you're a bad, bad kid like I am. Look, I'm such a bad kid. Well, I was about to run off the cliff, but I forgot at least my last effigy. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Some rough raging. No, it's not. Fuck that, man. That dude was a midget. He had one goddamn hit left, and of course the second time I just get fucked from being stupid and lose all my goddamn souls. What, I have like 30k? That could have at least been a level. And the best part is I'm killing these enemies over and over again, dying over and over again. Every time you kill them, it goes to the counter of... Hey, you've killed this enemy so many times, once you reach this point, we're not going to spawn him anymore, so you can't just sit there and farm souls to get back to the point of what you fucking lost for being an idiot and getting shit on by a midget. So you're fucked. God damn it, I'm mad. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> enough hitting and throwing things for a little bit. Fuck. So I'll be right back with, I guess, more shit. Probably me dying more. Fuck. <laughs>